what's happening everybody so i wanted to do a, a what i hope is to be a fairly quick video opening up some ollie's packs so if you've never seen them before this is one of them it's ollie's super value pack five packs six not uh, it's 5.99 so six bucks i'll show you real quick i picked up this one because it had this nice sinkevich peter parker spectacular spider-man on the front it's got this frizzin you can see on the other side of this book here which i don't know what it is it's some kind of little mini zora books but picked it up because they had those two you can see the front and the back some of them they sell there are really loose and you can actually see what's in there but I didn't go to that trouble. I got a sketch of Rick and Morty, Sleepy Gary, number one. And the other side is just this Jenny Hex, number one. And then this is a Rick and Morty, Mr. Mises sketch blank. Um, this one was already like half ripped open. So I was able to kind of look through it, but it's got this Scarlet Witch on the back. It says number 14. I uh, picked up this one because it's got the Fear Itself number one variant on the back of it. And for the most part, these books are usually in fairly good shape. It's got this Fantastic Four book. And then the last one I got, one side had the Green Ranger Power Ranger toy variant. And then it has a Nova number one. So let's crack these open real quick. See what we got. I'll start with this one that's already started because it'll be way faster. I can just pull them right out. Six bucks each. So that's the little thing that comes with it. You already saw that one. Always buy blanks. You never know when you're going to need to do some doodling. This is uh, uh, the Chaos Effect Free uh, Alpha. I don't know anything about that or if it's worth a dime. Here's a, uh, we only find them when they're dead, number three. And we have a Mega Man, number three. Some kind of variant, I guess. It's a, a virgin. Level up variant. I don't know what that means. What was this? This was in there. Oh, this is the comic shop, I guess, that puts them together. It's called... ND Comics Shop, ndcomics.com. Uh, and then you got this Scarlet Witch. So six bucks for that. You got one, two, three, four, five books. I think that one came out pretty good. I mean, that is probably your five bucks. And then uh, the Virgin variant. I mean, that's got to be a dollar book at least. I don't know what this is. Probably not worth anything. That's got to be worth at least a dollar or two. And then that's got to be worth at least a dollar. So I ain't losing money yet. That was the big question. Are we going to lose money? Next, uh, we'll open this other Rick and Morty sketch. You just got to find the space in between the books and give it a slice of my extremely sharp knife if uh, any knife companies would like to sponsor me and send me free knives i'm all for it i have no idea what's in this one put that over there put that over there so like i said first one sleepy gary i actually bought this at the comic shop today and they told me that they got it out of an Ollie's bag. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Ollie's and see what they got. Here's uh, regarding the matter of Oswald's body, number one. That is uh, second print, looks like. Yeah, second print. That's pretty cool. Next, we got uh, Mass Effect, number 10. From Dark Horse. Oh, here's a great one. This is... Uh, and some homage right here commander canada that's that's pretty awesome right there commander canada number 43 says it's from 1988 i have never seen this before but there's no way that's from 1988 it's not made like a 1988 comic anyway it says it's a free comic book day special 
cool. And last one we had was the Jenny Hex number one. And these are all in really nice shape. They don't look messed up or anything. They're not, I mean, they're not perfect, but oh, so what do we got here? I mean, this is priceless right here. I mean, there's your six dollars all day long. It's got this like Hulk 181 homage kind of going for it, kind of sort of. Jenny Hex, I can get a dollar for that. I can get a dollar for Max Effect, Mass Effect. I'm not sure what what that'll go for, but yeah, I mean, just like the other one, you got five dollars at least for this Rick and Morty blank. So we're doing good so far. So far, so good. Next up, I, like I said, I got this because I love Bill Sienkiewicz art. I already have this in the room that I'm putting together, but uh, always happy to grab Bill Sienkiewicz, especially on Spider-Man. Let's see what we got in here. What else is in the POC? Well, that's a newsstand copy, too. Look at there. Wouldn't that be something if it was a Mark Jeweler? It's not. It's a not a Mark Jeweler. <laughs> no, nope. cool book though. It's in good shape. Just got a little ding in the corner. See, there's probably close to five bucks, at least three. What is this? It's another Virgin variant. Um, Sauce mid midgel mil millage nano mamo 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 number one. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. What we got this is a God Haven Fallen Lion from Source Point. It's a one shot. I don't know nothing about that either, but it looks kind of cool. I like Source Point. Here's the Unkindness of Ravens number one. Oh, that's the uh, Frizen variant. So, yeah, I mean, that's at least a $3 book right there. It's got a uh, $4 cover price. It's not all beat up, so that's pretty cool. Oh, it's a reflection cover, too. I guess I know where this is going to go to a certain reflection cover collector. And then Zorro, mini comic. Groovy. Set you over there. All right. I'd say that we uh, at least broke even, if not maybe made a couple bucks on that one. So this one here. Fear itself. Bought a collection a while ago that had a lot of the Fear itself stuff in it, and uh, it didn't have that book, so that was pretty cool. Grab. It's got a nice Ghost Rider on it. Pretty stoked on that. Let's see if I can do this without cutting anything like myself. Okay, number four. Here we go. Number four. First one, Fantastic Four, number 345, new stand, not a Mark Jeweler, nope, not a Mark Jeweler, not signed by anybody, uh, but you know what, it has a very nice dinosaur cover on it, so I know a, a certain young lady who will be getting that, here's a, a Lila Star number one, unlockable variant, it says, a lot of variants in here a lot more than i would have expected so that's pretty cool i mean if you like indie variants there you go here's another source point book this is the same book that i got in the last one gloomhaven here's a secret seven number four So there's a couple books in there that ain't worth nothing, really. Oh, this is, what the heck? No, that's the back cover. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, I saw this back cover. Like, it's really white, but uh, it looks all bleached out. I don't know if that's supposed to look like that. I mean, I'm sure it is. Why else would they do that? But that's weird. I'm going to have to do some research on that because it's got a cover price on it. And that's just really freaking weird. 
So if you're watching this and you uh, know anything about this variant right here, it's the 50 years of Fantastic Four variant. I mean, surely it's supposed to be there because this is the Fantastic Four that takes over when the other Fantastic Four, which is that cover, but it just looks really, really weird. Anyway, looks cool. I have to look this up. I'm sure that it's got to be worth a couple bucks. That one was kind of a letdown. But hey, Harmony gets a dinosaur book, and I get cool Ghost Rider variant. Last one. This one had the Sam Alexander Nova on it and the Power Rangers Green Ranger. Rest in peace. I think that was the one that died. <laughs> I could totally be wrong. I don't know anything about the Power Rangers. Dens, don't be mad at me. <laughs> okay, this is it. Is this going to be the good one? Is this going to be the banger with the uh, Ultimate Fallout 4 in it? Wouldn't that be something? Okay, Nova number one. Nice, clean copy. Like that. Uh, another, uh, we only find them when they're dead. This is number nine. Not the Virgin. I actually read the first five or six of this and then stopped. I uh, lost interest. It got tired of seeing the same scene over and over and over again. Uh, let's see. Magic to Gathering. Oh, here's another Virgin variant. Magic to Gathering it says... Number one, Wizards of the Coast official unlockable variant. Okay. It's got to be worth a buck or two, right? Dark Blood, number four of six variant. Dark Blood. It's another virgin variant. They got all the virgins at Ollie's. <laughs> yeah, like I said, guys, these came from Ollie's. You have a Ollie's near you. They also sell trade paperbacks. And if you get an Ollie's card, you get a discount on all this stuff. Yeah, the last one is the Power Rangers number one. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one. And it's the the action figure variant. Green Ranger. He's got his flute. His Ranger flute. There you have it. So... What is that? That's like six bucks each, five of them. That's 30 bucks plus a little bit of tax. So what are you talking like $35? And you get all these comic books. I think it's all right. Virgin variant. We'll set all those together. Have a big stack. Virgin variant. Number one, Nova. Cool variant for fear itself. That one's stupid. That one's stupid. Virgin variant. This is going to Harmony. Virgin variant. Another one of these. Another virgin variant. Another cool. Yeah, you get the point. Oswald's body. That's I never read this, and I heard it was good, so I need to try and read that. I'm going to put it in the stack of stuff. This is definitely a keeper here. This is staying with me forever, and I'm going to figure out why I have never seen this book before. And that's so weird. The back cover is the same as the first page, <laughs> the last page. <laughs> that's some great marketing. <laughs> uh, oh, weird. Okay, so here's something else that's weird. So this... You open it up, the first page is the R.L. Stein Just Beyond Free Comic Book Day. <laughs> and it says Just Beyond up here. That's just weird. I never knew anything about that. This is probably worth $1,000. One of a kind. <laughs> Jenny Hex. Mass Effect. These are good. I like to doodle now. Do some doodling. Scarlet Witch. Here's you go, another Virgin variant. This is probably a thousand dollar book too. You know it's got to be. It's valiant, so it's got to be worth a 
boatload of money. It's got a bag and board too. So they thought it was extra special. There you go with that. And then appreciate it, y'all. Here, look at these drawings that I did. Here's the, the goose rider. I've been doing little sketch cards lately, so got Dr. Doom too. But I'll tell you what, leave it in the comments. If I can get a hundred views. Leave your info in the comments, and I will pick a winner via random drawer, and we'll say the Dr. Doom. I'll give away a Dr. Doom card to one lucky subscriber, commenter. Hit the thumbs up button and watch it like 20,000 times so I can get my view hours up. Because I'm about to start doing some crazy stuff here. Thanks, everybody. Go to Ollie's. Pick up your packs. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Enough said. Wait, where's my camera? There. Enough said.